to Andy and Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. There's Dave Cackley. I've, I, I was pondering a ponderance last night. Um, pondering a ponderance? I was. And I'm wow. wondering if maybe you um, have ever experienced the same thing, or maybe it's just an anomaly in my life. Um, as, as I was drying off last night, um, mm-hmm. you know, a little Irish spring, got some water going on there, scrub here, scrub there, got, got, it, all, got it all washed, right? Smelling wonderful. Wait a minute. I don't I hate to interrupt, but yeah. why, how is this podcast not This isn't as a podcast. We do broadcast. Okay, okay, stop, stop. It's a podcast. No, no it's not. Let, a which is uh, which is better than a traditional broadcast. That's I disagree, where we are. but anyway, go. Ahead. Okay, well, you're wrong. All right. I'm, um, I'm how wrong. are we how are we not yet sponsored by Irish Spring? I have no you idea. We've given so many free plugs to Irish Spring. I think it's high time they start ponying up some cash. I would love that. All right. It's high time. I will tell you this too. Um, I've had listeners and, and viewers now uh, on our behalf get a hold of the good people at Irish Spring mm-hmm. and say, hey, you got this advocate over here in Michigan who's really, you know, bonkers Pushing about the hard. product. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, you know, and they, they were like, oh, we love that. That's incredible. Thank you. They sent me a thing of dental floss and a coupon for a free bar of irish spring that's it that's it that's what i got you know what i say and Mm. and, and this is respectfully i say you know what no more free rides irish spring yeah well screw that i know i'm switching to zest okay i'm zest fully clean now yes you are well i I would do that however it just you, you 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 know you pick a flagship product you run with yeah. Okay. And, but and from now just on, just refer to it. Just refer to it as the the soap that dare not speak its name. The soap. Okay. All right. So anyway, the well, soap. I was using the soap. I got all done. Got out. Drying off. And I happened to notice this. And I don't. I just want to make sure I'm not the only one. But um, do hotel towers dry off your nether regions better than home towels? Towers. The hotel towers. Hotel towels. I meant to say uh, towels. towels. Oh, here, I'll, okay. I'll ding myself. There you go. Yeah. Do they the dry hotel towels better? seem to dry off parts of you better than your towels at home. And I you don't know, understand I, why. Because I'm going to tell I, you what. I spent go ahead. a good five minutes trying to dry off um, the jewels, and mm. they still didn't feel dry. At a hotel, I never have that problem. I, I do think there is something to that to that view. I, okay. I Yes. I, I have what? felt, I, and I haven't really thought about it like you've just um, presented. I haven't thought about that, but I think it's true. I think for some reason, I don't know if it's the quality of the fabric in the hotel towels, um, which is one of the, it might be one of the reasons why so many people steal them. And hey, guilty as charged. Yep. Uh, I've done that. Um, but yeah, there is something to that. Yeah, because they, I think they do dry you off better more efficiently you feel there's something about coming out of a hotel shower i feel cleaner i do too for some reason despite the fact it should be the exact opposite because exact opposite. hundreds of thousands of people have been in that shower before you and you yeah. think it would be you'd and be God grossed knows out what's going on yes. in there oh yeah you know good, l- good lord you you take a blue light to anything in a hotel room Ooh. and you you can't stop vomiting but yeah, the, with the hotel towels, yes, they are they are superior. They're, they to the seem towels more they have absorbent. They seem to yes. scratch in places where you need scratched mm-hmm. a lot. Yes. And, oh my gosh! You know, I'm, I, you don't feel you don't feel itchy afterwards either. Yeah. It's it's got I don't know. So I you know I get done I get done drying off and there I'm standing you know all natural letting it breeze dry for the rest of the way, and these are these are the things I was thinking about last night. I'm like. Why can't home towels be that effective? I don't know. I think well, we all need to. Hotels, this is what hotels should start doing. Sell your towels. Oh. Sell your towels. You want you want to make a little extra money? How about this? How's about you low it? Just knock a couple of bucks off the off the hotel room price. Right. And then just start uh, selling your towels as people are leaving. Although, you know, people, you know, actually, that's kind of a dumb idea because we're just going to steal them anyway. So yeah. scratch that. Never mind. All right. Well, anyway, that that's what crossed my mind last night. Um, uh, very interesting. It was. It was, it was I, that, that's, that's, 
I'm going to be thinking about that uh, the rest of the day. Well, you got a hotel uh, coming up this weekend too, don't you? That's right. I'm yes, I will be over in uh, in Spring Lake at the Bras for a Cause. Yes. Me and Sam Jacks are going to be doing that up and uh, going to be a lot of fun co-hosting uh, with me this year for the first time she is. And uh, I don't have to uh, model this year due to some okay. uh, Will Sam be modeling? No, no, oh. no. It's all dudes doing it. Oh, okay. It's all dudes doing it. So, I might get a ticket um, if it was different. but Okay, well, um, there you go. I'm a dirty Sorry. old man. So, of course, um, aren't right? we all? Yes. Where will you be staying when you're in Spring Lake? Uh, I can't. I uh, can't reveal that. Actually, I, I can't reveal it. It'll be the uh, the Holiday Inn, I believe. Oh, Spring Lake. Right. There. Oh, so there, I, look at you. So there you go. Um, are you staying we, under uh, your? We pseudonym? might want to edit that out. We might want to edit that. No, out. we don't. No. I don't, no are we you don't staying under to, your pseudonym? No, I don't. No. Okay. I, I don't. I don't use fake names, but nobody can can ask for it anyway, so it doesn't matter. That's true. You know, you just you're just gonna have me. to knock on you're just gonna have to knock on every door. Good luck. I ignore that. I've anyway. got people. I can find out where. Okay. You are. All right. Good luck. Mm -hmm. All right. Ready to get into it? Let's do it. Let's do it up. Another social media company is downsizing. LinkedIn announced on Monday it is laying off hundreds of employees. The subsidiary of Microsoft cut more than 700 jobs back in May. This latest round of layoffs. A little over 600, representing about 3% of its workforce. You know, I haven't checked or updated my LinkedIn in probably 15 years. Yeah. Uh, did you ever use it? I, I remember using it when it was fairly new It's and connecting with some people and the business I use it, and everything. And I use it on occasion. I still mm -hmm. think it's a middle manager stare down. Um, yeah, that's what, it, yeah. That's um, kind of what it felt like. I, but, you know, I... I do, I guess for me, it has gained a little traction over time. Um, but again, I'm just, I, I, I guess the thing for me on, on LinkedIn is the amount of obligatory buzzwords and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I speak the lingo, you should yeah. hire me. And right. it's like, oh my God. Really? I don't, is, yeah. is that what hiring has come down to? Somebody that can wrap the rap about I'm a change agent. I'm a or I'm, I'm a, a creative force for what talk about branding and stuff. I hate like and, people and talk what? about what's Great. what's good for their brand or bad for their brand, and I hate that. I nothing you know, makes it, my eyes roll in I know. Oh, oh god. And there are some people who are remarkable at that. Yes. And there's no 100%. other way to say it. Yes. There, there really is no other way to frame these things. But when you go down LinkedIn and every single person has got the same thing next to their name, um, you know, I, I, I am a marvel of blah, 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 blah. And it's like, oh, my God. Like, I am so like glad. It's they sit there with yeah. a thesaurus and they try mm -hmm. to come up with ways to describe themselves. And it's like, okay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's 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 annoying. Speaking of branding, though, this is a perfect segue into my next story. Okay. The ultimate in branding. Another record for Taylor Swift. The Eras Tour concert film raked in ninety six million dollars at the box office in the USA and Canada last weekend. That's the highest grossing concert film for for an opening weekend in box office history. I'm gonna see it. Good for Taylor Swift. I still don't get it. I do. Not my thing. Good for her. I had yeah. I'm I, again. I'm. I'm gonna see it. I don't get it. Why though? I, I mean, want you've to. Seen, well, okay. there, here's the thing. And you know, are, you, are I, you interested in it from a performance standpoint? Are you just interested in it from a let's see what the hoopla? I is? I want to see. I want to see the full production myself. Okay. Yeah. I want to see all, everything that went into making this tour what it was. I want to see. Uh, her performance and how it's advanced since she was here 14, 15 years ago. Um, and I, I, I want to see, there's so much more to Taylor Swift than the package, right? We get the package. What do you mean? The, here's the what, tour, what here's mean? this, here's that, here's the other thing. I mean, she gave all of her truck drivers $100,000 at the end of the tour. Okay. That's an amazing human. To bonus your truck drivers a hundred grand just for getting your crap from stadium to stadium. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's amazing. She's I incredible think, yeah. when it comes to P 
people who are um uh, what's the word i'm looking for people who are minimized those that are uh, with a physical limitation mm. or a mental handicap or something like that she's remarkably giving with those folks um she she is she has made her way and i'm sure that it's not perfect right i'm sure right, that no. she's got to be the boss you can, you at some can point pick on anything later. yeah um but She's made her way by doing things right and treating people remarkably well. And I think there's a lot to be said for that. Yeah, I, and, 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 and that's a fair point. I, I yeah. think when you do that, it's how, how you treat those who aren't at your level or that's that's where kind of like characters are. And I've said this, and people think I crap on Taylor Swift, which I do not do. Right. I've said this. She's an overachiever. I have respect for that because I'm an underachiever. Right. Okay. I've underachieved uh, throughout a, a good portion of 51 years with, you know, a few, with a few exceptions. So I can spot them like this is a person who has limited ability, but has made the most of it and has made a connection in a way with, with her fan base that is, is just phenomenal. Unbelievable. Uh, which can, which can rate, which raises her up above those who quite honestly and objectively are way more talented, but that in itself is a talent. Sometimes I think we underappreciate work F work ethic and we underappreciate the ability to connect with people Yeah, because uh, you can have all the talent in the world. You can have all the ability. And if you don't maximize it, you know, what are you really doing? And if you can't connect with people, especially as a performer, what are you really doing? So, yeah. uh, good for her again i don't i i and, it, and i'm good not getting it i can appreciate it even though i don't get it and uh and good for her because i i uh, who's another person that i was just actually a person you and i both know uh amy mccarthy formerly uh amy larson um yeah you you know yeah she's doing these iron man triathlons awesome truly uh, phenomenal i remember her Way back when I used to see her because I would I was doing some work with uh, 104.5 SNX back in the day where um, we do these bar appearances yeah. at uh, at the grotto back in the day. And this right. was we're going back, you know, 15, close to 20 years. And she'd be out there as a teenage kid. And she was a mm -hmm. bigger girl. She was always so super sweet and Amy, super nice. Amy's one of the best. And, and she and, but she was just just a sweetheart of a person. She was just one of this Still is. that hung out. Yeah, that's what I was getting at. She still is, and the way she just made this transformation in her life, in a way like every every day that like I'm like God, I don't feel like I don't feel like going to the gym. I don't want to do it. Yeah. And then I'll see something that she posts, and it's like, oh my God, she's literally running a marathon, biking a hundred miles, swimming five. I'm like, what the? I can I, I can go to the I can go to the gym for forty minutes. You I know what it. I mean? It's I ridiculous. It. Yeah. And I love that. I love people like that. And, and her you know, husband is Slain Weed. Good for him. Oh, Drew. good for Drew. <laughs> I love that. You know what? And Drew got out of this business. Yes, he good. did. I mean, he, I would call, you know what? Call that a step up. Yes, I would. That's a step up. God bless you, <laughs> Drew. All right. Amy, we love you, by the way. Thank there, you. God bless. Yes. Finally, it's okay to breathe again in Muskegon Heights. Chemical spill at Web Chemical Service Corporation led to a shelter in place order for two hours on Monday. A little under 500 gallons of hydrochloric acid was released, released initially they said it was around like 2000 turned out it was just a little under 500 uh no uh no one was hurt uh, they ha issued the shelter in place around 11 a.m wrapped up about one so uh it's weird anytime one of those things happen though your brain automatically goes was this intentional is this some sort of you know it's just no, it that's didn't just mean. where we are and let me tell you how it went okay. i saw somebody post about that on facebook I immediately okay. called the sheriff. He mm -hmm. wasn't quite sure because yeah, he was in a meeting. Mm -hmm. So I immediately called 911 after that and verified things. Mm -hmm. From there, I hit every group on Facebook with the mm -hmm. news that we have yeah. a problem in town. I said, pay attention. This is important. Yeah. And I followed through on every step of what you need to do when there's an emergency, right? Yeah. You verify it. You get mm -hmm. the word out quickly. You tell people the alert first here mm -hmm. there's a problem this is what you need to know right from there as they sort things out you continue to share through those same channels mm -hmm. update them as you will now mm -hmm. 
there are those out there who are remarkably cr critical of the way I manage social media. And let me tell you something. This is why I manage social media the way I do. I run a group called Positively Muskegon, which has got close to 30,000 members in it. If I were to sit here and allow everybody who's got a garage sale or a um, air duct cleaning business or uh, whatever kind of trash they're trying to promote, hmm. if I allowed all that junk on that page or I allowed everybody to turn it into some kind of argument about nothing, kicking each other in the ass and calling each other names and blah, 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 blah. The effectiveness of that page in that reach would drop to zero. I have 30,000 people there that I, I told instantly there's a mm. problem and you need to pay attention. That's why positively Muskegon is run the way it is. And I, I will not bend and I will not break on that. So people can think I'm a dick all they want because I won't come kowtowing to their next fight over whatever they want to piss and moan about, be it the road diet or the way somebody is uh, trying to build a house in a neighborhood or whatever project they're working on. We're going to talk like grownups and we're going to mm -hmm. continue to be what we are, but I will guard that page with my life if I have to for reasons like that. Well, and, and it's your name, you know, I mean, it's you, yeah, you people identify it with you. So and, and I thought the way you did it was good. I thought that was just that was a it wasn't it wasn't panic. It was just alert. Okay, Here's this what is what's going know. on. If you're within these you few blocks, yeah. shut your there windows. You and um, it was one of those. There was no there was no hysteria behind it. And and that's that speaks to my point because what you what you initially our our initial thoughts go to that. Yeah. Collectively, I'm not saying individually, but collectively. But over the past, you know, the twenty scenes, some odd year, twenty some odd years. Yeah. That's where it goes to. Behind the scenes, so, people in neighboring businesses had not heard anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. next door. That's a problem. Yeah. When, when we don't no have question. sufficient news in, in, in a community to tell you of something like that, and you're mm -hmm. right next door to it, right? there's an issue. And that's oh, why absolutely. I protect the credibility of it as well. There you go. All right. Well done. Thank you. All right. Sports Cowboys beat the Chargers 20 to 17 Monday night football final four of major league baseball, otherwise known as the league championship series, Texas beats Houston in the American league five to four. They lead that series 2 0 Philly knocks off Arizona in game one, five to three and the Detroit lions right now, seventh best odds to win the super bowl started the season at plus 2,500 right now down to plus 1300 so if you bet 10 bucks on them right now they win the super bowl you win 130 you bet a hundy you win 1300 so it's basically 13 to 1 odds to win the whole thing right now which wow. that hasn't been the case in detroit in my lifetime or in your lifetime so uh kudos might want to start investing some That's scratch what i think i'm gonna do Blue. i'm gonna get myself a highly get, addicted get yourself get your go get on fan duel that's what on, i'm gonna get do get on any one of those gambling sites you can invest wisely yep and detroit a good bet that's dave for you right good there bet. there you go tell you where to piss away your money As, okay this coming from the guy who bought another ten dollar powerball ticket for ten bucks you got much better odds at uh winning 130 on uh, the lions winning the super bowl so there and you go. whose basement do you live in hey now Hey now, and I, it's I'm not just a saying, I don't live in a basement. Fin financial decision. I don't live in a basement. Yes. Hey, I've made poor ones over the okay, years. Well, over the years, I'm trying to. I'm trying that. to reverse that. I'm trying to reverse. You're that. You're trying. Yes, efforting. Invest wisely. Hey, if you would, if you would have invested in Detroit from day one, from day one, you would be in the black heavily from day one of the season. So, you're welcome, America. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 2009 Dodge Charger. Perfect. 2012. Whatever. 2012. All right. Well, here's your chance to, to win some money in Jeopardy. Fake money, of course, but. Mm -hmm. You telling people what to do with money. I'm Andre, here to tell look, you what. I know. I, you, I'm, okay. So, I know that seems oxymoronic. I get no, it. No, that's past oxymoronic. <laughs> <laughs> I've been right on this. 
I've been wrong on other things. I'm right on this one. You know what? If, if given the chance, I would like to stand at the at the corner of Wall Street and whatever with you, with a sign that says "Listen to this idiot" and and see how many people would just come by and listen yeah. to you talk. That would be great. All right, six hundred dollars four word exchange. Four words. So we're looking for four words now. Four, four words. Word exchange. Don't, yeah. don't throw your fingers like that. Your fingers are weird. They go backwards, and that creeps me out. I don't like that. This four-word phrase is the original equivalent of the early bird gets the worm. Uh, Money on the line here, 600. Uh, if you put that on the lines, what would you get? Oh, jeez. Now, see, you don't, you're trying to, you did a little misdirection there, yeah, and didn't. that confused me. Yeah, you did. I, I you started, you started to, Alex wouldn't have done that. Alex doesn't talk as the, as the contestant is trying to think. Forward phrase for early word, early bird gets the worm. But you do get three seconds. I'm not talking, and this is more than three seconds. I can't, I can't think of it. First come, first serve. That, uh, that's not the equivalent of the early bird gets the worm. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. How is that uh, not the equivalent? Because you're if the thinking, early bird gets there, up early, he gets the worm. First if come, you're first, first come, you get you first, get served first. You get served first, yes. That but is it's the not equivalent. Really the, it's, it's kind of the same, but it's not really the equivalent. It's the equivalent. It's, I just, I'm, Spring Lake Holiday I'm, in this weekend. Okay. There you go. We'll find out what room by the end of the week. No. There's going to be a party know. in Spring Lake, and we're bringing video cameras. It's going to be no. one of those. Oh, yes, well, there will be cameras there, and there, you know, in in various states. Like I again, see Dave I, Monday not, morning. I'm not be wearing boxers. I won't on be wearing fans boxers. Only I will have site. a bra on. It'll be great. I have a bra on, but no bra. I'll, I'll be wearing pants. So there All you right, go. hey, guess who's back? Here comes the weather kid. Yes, see ya. Happy Tuesday, Muskegon. Cloudy skies will continue today, unfortunately, with temperatures holding in the 50s. So let's take a look at your forecast brought to you by Trendy Health. Starting out with your weather headlines, not only will today be mostly cloudy, but pretty much the rest of the week, another system will be moving through Wednesday night into Thursday, which will not only bring clouds, but also some rain as well. Not as much rain that we saw over the weekend, though. And we'll briefly get into the 60s ahead of that system on Wednesday. Before today, we won't be in the 60s. We'll be in the mid-50s still, maybe upper 50s further away from Lake Michigan, such as Ravana. So for your Tuesday, expect a high of 54 with mostly cloudy skies. We'll have a fairly light wind today that will continue into the overnight hours as the winds go calm with a low of 46. And like I said, clouds will build back into the region on Wednesday with a high of 61. Then rain will likely arrive Wednesday night especially right around 8 p.m. or so, and that will continue throughout the day on Thursday. So Thursday looks the worst day weather-wise for the rest of the week, and then that will continue into Thursday night as well. Friday could be mostly dry, but there could still be a few isolated showers around till another brief round of rain moves in Friday night. But it, thankfully, it looks like this weekend will be dry with highs staying in the 50s, though. And that is your Tuesday forecast brought to you by Trinity Health on the Muskegon Channel. And I'm Cole Woods Weather, and enjoy your week.